everyone, it's Iantha from Beauty Crew and we've got two very exciting guests with me today. So I've got Ray Morris who is the Makeup Director of Priceline Pharmacy and Kenneth Stoddart who is the Hair Director of Priceline Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. So just so happens they're in the office because they're doing trials for VAMP which is happening when? The start of March? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for a whole bunch of different magazines. So we've been able to catch them for the next five to ten minutes. We can't show you any of the looks, but we can talk about the biggest hair trends, makeup products, just a general chat about makeup and hair. So if you have any questions, as always, please let us know in the comments below and we will do our best to answer them at the end of the video. But let's kick things off with Kenneth. My first question, what do you think is the biggest hair trend for 2017? I think there's a lot of individuality, so it's like embracing your own natural texture. I think texture is the key word. So there's lots of like curly, wavy, straight, you know, all different types of texture. Instead of trying to make everybody the generic look, mm -hmm. everybody's got their own individual look. So that's a really big kind of thing this season, a big trend. Mm -hmm. And what sort of products would you need for texture? Do you know, we need to prep from start to finish? So from like shampoo right through to finishing? It, it does help. You know, it really depends again on the individual. You know, and you know yourself as a consumer if you got curly hair and you use a product to make your hair like you know that's for straight hair or whatever it's not going to work so yeah. each individual person has their own specific set of products mm -hmm. that works for their hair texture okay, cool. so what you use on one you're not necessarily going to use on another and that's where it gets a little bit confusing mm -hmm. and how because there are so many products on the market how do you suggest people to learn how to use it would you just suggest people to get products at home try it out yourself well i think the thing is read read what it says on the outside because I think most product companies now are onto it so you know they'll say something like to control frizz or to take away like volume or to add volume yep. or so if you've got fine limp hair and you want to give it more body you would obviously use something that's got like you know the word body in it okay. add body or something yep. or plumping up or you know you yep. just kind of use your and then it's a matter of like just trying trial and error you know and and just um Go on the price line and check it. Yeah. Yeah, the online um, step by step. You can just spend hours in price line. Yeah, yeah. You can just spend hours in price line just looking at every single product. I think it's like the most therapeutic thing you could do, just being in there. Okay, Ray. Hi. Biggest makeup trend for 2017. There's a there's a few. We've got a lot of graphic eyeliners going along. Um, along graphic eyes. Sorry, <laughs> eyeliners happening. Um, a big eye color we're seeing this season is burgundy, which has been oh. quite beautiful. There's sort of like an 80s feel through a bit of soft feminine wearable okay. version and lips we're seeing a lot of quite dark dark deep deep lips um and skins where we're not going as as matte we had a bit of a matte phase mm -hmm. we're going back that beautiful luminous oh, skin nice. looking like skin yeah. yeah and i'm sure a lot of people are going to want to know contouring highlight is that back is it going to go away is it look for me i mean i i always think contouring and highlighting should be undetectable. That's mm -hmm. how I think it makes skin look beautiful. Yeah. So we are doing it but in a way that you can't tell. Okay. So I think I think contouring and highlighting is like that. I call it like underwear. It gives you the shape but no one really knows what something yeah, no, is. They just say it. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. So <laughs> I use it as that weapon and you don't know it's there but it's there. So okay. it's there but I'm making it very soft and wearable okay. and cool. Yeah. And to make it wearable, are you using creams, powders? Yeah, so creams? creams is kind of what I love about making it wearable because it blends with skin. So we're not into about making something last all day. I mean, I think what keeps something looking fresh is touch up. That's the trick. It's maintenance. Ah. Yeah, the thing is, it's something that lasts all day doesn't always, it'll make it from my world. We okay. really we rarely think like that with products. So things that last all day are a bit heavier, they don't move, they don't blend. Like long wearing. Well. Yeah, okay. they can tend to stick a little bit. Lips, yeah. it's fine, but yeah. skin's not. So on the cheeks, we like to use cream. They blend and you can build them up and just maintain them. That's all about maintenance. Okay, cool. Yeah. Back to Kenneth. Mm -hmm. What are three products that you'll constantly reach for in your kit this year, either backstage or on you know, consumers, that sort of thing? Yeah, I guess I'm going to use dry shampoo. Yeah. Because that's going to add texture, it's going to give you that second day kind of feel. I'm going to use things like serums. Um, mousses, again to add texture. Mousse is so throwback. Yeah, I mean, mousse is very 80s and a lot of people are a bit scared of mousse. I'm scared of mousse. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> mousse has come a long way now and it's it's the actual texture. Yes. It's like Ray talking about the cream. It's something that's not, you know, like a gel and stuff's like a bit heavier. It's the next step up. So people are a lot more scared of gel whereas mousse will actually now absorb into the hair and it's really light and it's really easy to apply. Mm -hmm. Whereas, Do you think it's come a long way, Moose? I think it's come a huge <laughs> way. It's, it's done a full circle. And you okay. know, when we're doing the shows backstage, it's just like there's moose everywhere, which is wow, great. Oh, I'm very surprised yeah. about that. And diffusers. 
Yeah, I feel like you diffusers know? are very sort of like eighties or more. Like I was scared to actually talk to some of my team about a diffuser. I'm thinking, are they actually going to know what a diffuser is? It's like, you know, but it's actually now because of all the natural texture. And yeah. You've seen curl on the runway again yeah. and stuff like that. So, you know, it's the, it's the best way to dry hair yeah. is with mousse and a diffuser. Okay. But you don't get the crunchiness that you used to get in the 80s because now the mousses are more moisturising. They've okay. got more things in them that's going to make the hair soft and, and yes. touchable, yes. Okay. which is what you want. So yeah. it doesn't look producty. And back on the mousse and the diffuser, with mousse, should people be using that from root to tip or is it more like a mid-length... Sorry, Again, yeah. it depends on the style that you're doing. If you've yeah. got like, if you're doing natural texture from roots to ends, you would put it from roots to ends. Mm -hmm. If you're just wanting to like flatten, like on one of the looks we're doing, which is a trend at the moment, it's a pushed back kind of look. Mm -hmm. You would work all that product just at the root area, yeah. and like as it's drying, you work it with a hair dryer and you work it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. As it dries, it kind of sets in place, yeah. so you get that really nice kind of like slightly wet pushed back look, mm -hmm. and then you can use like a dry oil yeah. on the rest of your hair, or leave your hair just as it is now. Naturally, mm -hmm. and that's a really modern take on a kind of pushed back off the face Beautiful. look, which is really nice. Yeah, it's just really simple, you know, and yeah. that's what's effective. And um, the, the sorry diffuser is that mm -hmm. with hot air, cold air? How would we use? Well, that? the diffuser. The whole point of that is that it diffuses the airflow, okay. so it doesn't it blow the hair um, and disturb the curl. It kind of diffuses it. So when you have it on high heat it's going to dry a lot quicker. But the thing with mm -hmm. curl or wave, and especially if you've got a natural frizz in your hair, if you dry it with too much heat and it dries too quickly, it frizzes even more. So you're better going slower yeah. with a lower heat yeah. and just taking your time and taking it to about 80% and then leaving it and let it finish off itself. Ah, that's it. a really good tip. Yeah. yeah, Not to rush into it. Take no, your time. Don't rush into yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Ray? Yes. Three makeup products that you'll keep reaching for this year. Uh, um, concealer. Because it just does everything under the eyes, blemishes on the body, skin, yes, yeah. on the legs. Cream concealer. Yeah, I yeah. love all that cream. Yeah. Um, wig. Uh, okay. Uh, cream highlighters, mm -hmm. definitely. Mascara. Yeah. Can I try a few more? Um, yeah. I, I'm into this, just brows. I'm into like filling brow strand by strand. You still so like, like brows? Yeah. Brows. They're you... not drawn on or heavy. Okay. Like again, so look like they're your hairs. So okay. we're going away from that pencil fully filled in brow. Mm -hmm. Think angle brush. Angle brush, yep. With a gel eyeliner or a powder, and you just put three or four strands in the gaps. Oh, yes. okay. And okay. then sticky tape, top of my liners. Back to mascara. Yes. What do you think is happening with mascara at the moment? Do you think, like, what colours like, color are in? Is it all about volumising, lengthening, or lengthening. is it all of the above? Length, it's more lengthening. Like, there's, there's even been a trend like these spider lashes where you get this, like, really thin and long. So it's not about thickening and adding weight, it's about adding length. Yeah. And a lot of top lash mascara only to get that lift. Yeah. Not a lot of falsies going on, but a lot of filling in an individual, I say filling in the gaps. So it's, again, taking it back to this is natural beautiful elegance to the face without mm. looking like something fake has gone on. I don't like there being fake. So yeah. lashes yes. are to, yeah, it's to look like, well, aren't her lashes ridiculously long? Like enhanced, but not yes. over the top. Yeah, aren't her brows beautiful? Yeah. And she just wears a lip. It's, mm -hmm. We're not manufacturing or faking anything in a woman that can naturally be there. Yeah. If we're accessorising on the lip colours and eye colour. Everything else we make it look like it's naturally yours. Mm, very nice. Yes. Okay. Um, back to Kenneth, my last question for the both of you. What do you think people make the mistake of most within the hair and how do you think we can fix it? Um, I think with the hair, they, um, they either use too much product mm -hmm. or they, you know, it, it's kind of the fine line between going too far and not far enough. And I think that's the problem with people. Um, a lot of people buy a lot of products as well, they try it and then they think mm, this isn't working so they put it in the cupboard and leave it. Mm -hmm. It takes more than one attempt to work something yeah. out, you know, how long does it take to ride a bicycle? So you've got to try things out, um, experiment, so don't just give up straight away because you don't get it right first time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes less is more, okay. you know, don't overwork it. You can always add more yeah. than take it out. You know, I think yeah. people tend to overwork yeah. things mm -hmm. and it's knowing when to stop, yeah. you know. <laughs> And then you think, you think, yeah, that's the time. It's perfect. You almost need a professional with you at home to be like, oh, too much, too it's much. It's a confidence <laughs> thing. You know, it's like it's looking in the mirror and looking and saying, yeah, I've got it. It looks really good okay. now. Instead of like thinking, I need to just spend another five minutes okay. doing more. Yeah. You know, it's just knowing when you've reached the point when it looks beautiful. Yeah, perfect. And it's a confidence thing. Yeah, okay. He's answered me pretty much. <laughs> I could use that same answer. It's yeah. too much. And especially too much on the skin. Mm -hmm. I think something that ages women a lot is when they're over foundation. It's been 
unfortunately a bit of a too big a trend in the Instagram world. That yes. really heavy cake yes. does, doesn't work. And so many so products much. laid on top of each other's no. foundation, and then no. like you know you've got like a powder on top, and then yeah. you take powder away. And no. no, it's about it's about perfecting the skin and making the skin look incredible. So you okay. can, you might have blemished skin, yeah. but it's about making the good skin look like it's got nothing on it, and just building up. Okay, so that's taking that time. Yeah. So definitely too much, and also too much powder. Yeah. A lot of girls use powder because they want makeup to last. Again, no maintenance. I only use powder for the skin to look matte and flat, which is not always no, amazing. not always great. Yeah, um, shine's good. Shine's your friend. Yeah, it's almost like fake dewy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dewy, yeah. Right? Just control that by blotting yeah. papers, a little yeah. bit of powder. Yeah, someone's lips too. Take it off. Do it again. Take it. Off. So it's yeah. a lot of. I think the biggest mistake a lot of women think good makeup lasts twenty four hours. When no, good makeup looks amazing. Yes, work out what looks amazing, then what maintenance involved. Because if great makeup lasts twenty four hours, we could do a celebrity's makeup and go home. We're and you've got to sleep in it. We're there makeup. every hour. Yeah. Why is every celebrity got a hair and makeup person right beside them? Because yeah. it's maintenance, maintenance. So it's about checking and having a mirror and going back and okay. yeah. perfecting. Yeah, tweaking. perfecting. Don't just lock it in. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm just going to quickly see if there are any comments or questions. No, no questions. But if you have any questions for today's session, please drop them in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. There's thousands. <laughs> can't answer them all. See, right. <laughs> we can't lie. But thank you so much for watching today's session and thank you to our special guests. You're for welcome. coming in with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.